I was really struck by um, how people said that to me, you know, mostly people in the press, um, for whatever reason, like, oh, you know, go away, go away. And I, I had a, uh, one of the young people who works for me go back and do a bit of uh, research. They never said that to any man who was not elected. Hillary Clinton taking issue with being, quote, rushed off the stage after her loss. But is it time for the Democratic Party actually to find some new voices to take the stage? The Tea Party Patriots co-founder Jimmy Beth Martin, Swan Strategies partner Aaron McPike, and National Review's contributing editor DeRoy Murdoch. Uh, Jenny, let me start with you. Uh, you know, it just it feels like the woe is me expressed, to be quite frank with you. And, and, and she's talking more and more about her election loss and the subsequent things that have happened to her. I think if she's going to remain on the national stage, uh, maybe she should be talking about things that impact more than just her. Well, she, um, she certainly does need to be talking about more than what impacts her, and she really needs to get over her post-election loss syndrome. Um, it, it's time to, to move on and think about the future of the country. But she continues to look back and look at who's to blame other than looking at herself and realizing that the blame falls squarely on her shoulders. Aaron, uh, sexism, uh, ageism, uh, women uh, being intimidated by their husbands and their brothers. The list goes on and on. It's a very long checklist. It even includes Barack Obama, uh, all at fault for Hillary not being in the White House right now. What are your thoughts? Well, look, sexism certainly played a role. A number of things played a role. And sure, Hillary Clinton was a deeply flawed candidate, but there was sexism. And what she's trying to do right now is galvanize women to come out and vote in the future, in the midterms, in the next presidential election. And she is well within her rights to do that. Let's remember that everybody does have a First Amendment right, and she can still be on the national stage and do what she's talking about and trying to galvanize women voters. She is right that men were not told to go away. She made the point that John Kerry became Secretary of State, that Mitt Romney is now running for Senate. And I think most important, that Al Gore found an issue that he cared about in climate change and has had a series now of documentaries about climate change right. and has done a lot with that issue. Right. And so here, too, she can talk about women and girls and voting going forward. And I think that's important for her to do, and, and she's well within her rights to do it. You know, uh, but, but didn't, Aaron, real quick, didn't women vote in the last election? Is it women voting or women specifically voting for women candidates and Democrats? I think it's women coming coming out to vote. Yes, women did come out, but I think they could have come out in stronger numbers, and that's the is it case okay who they vote for? Hearing. I think they can vote for anybody. Absolutely. I mean, do you think Hillary's going to going to promote? Hey, come out and exercise your right to vote for whoever you think, or come out and vote and don't let your brother and your and your husband and everyone else bully you. <laughs> Look, I think she is going to say that women should come out and vote for whomever they choose. What are your thoughts? And that's an important message. Okay, okay. I mean, listen, here's the thing, DeRoy. Uh, and Aaron brought it up. You know, Al Gore found something, and, he, and, and he, these folks weren't asked, didn't, weren't, didn't have to be asked to leave the stage because they left voluntarily, and they did find other things that, impassion, that they weren't passionate about. And if it's, if it's an agenda to help women and, 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 and girls, I think it's admirable. But so far, it doesn't feel that way. It just feels like a personal woe is me kind of thing. Uh, it's just an ongoing whining campaign. You know, when Mitt Romney and Al Gore lost, they graciously got off the stage and did other things. And didn't sit there analyzing why they lost and what they did wrong and who else uh, were to blame, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's not about us, Hillary, if you're watching. It's about you. And the reason Hillary Clinton uh, lost the election is she was lazy. Just to give you some numbers from Gateway Pundit, J Jim Hoft ran these figures. Uh, Donald Trump did 132 rallies. Hillary Clinton did 63, less than half. Donald Trump took 23 days off where he had no rallies. Hillary did 57. There are 99 days between August 1 and Election Day. She took 57 days, which means 57 days off where she was not doing rallies. He outworked her. He showed up in, in Wisconsin. She didn't. She barely went to Michigan. He was right. in Michigan numerous right. times. If she'd really wanted to be president, she should, should have worked harder. There's she no wasn't doubt. doing nothing. No, no. I mean, that's just one metric, rally. Those are I mean... rally, rallies and appearances are a huge metric, and she should have showed up more. She should have gone to Wisconsin. She never did. She barely made it to Michigan. She has nobody to blame but, but herself. No, no sexist man kept her out of Wisconsin. She never went to Wisconsin. Well, well, let me Shame bring on back, her. Let me bring she done that Jenny, she might have won the election. Jenny Beth, because, uh, you know, the premise of this whole thing is, is, is her continuing, you know, pointing back or harkening, harkening on how unfair the last election process was. Does, is this helping or hurting the Democrats right now, Jenny Beth? 
I don't think that it's helping the Democrats at all. She she is continuing to be a victim, yet she wants women to be empowered. You you either are empowered or you're not. You can't be a victim and be empowered at the same the same time about this issue. To say that women only voted for Trump because they were bullied into it by the man in their life. The problem is that Hillary wanted women to vote the way she wanted women to vote. She thinks women are sheep one way or the other. Either they're going to vote for her and that was the right thing to do, or they didn't vote for her because they were bullied. One way or the other, the way that she sees it, she's going to bully women and right. have them be sheep. We want women to be able to think for themselves and find the best solutions for their households, right. their families, and for the future of our country. All right. Thank you all very, very much. Appreciate it.